Number nine, we're given u0 is one. So we're gonna have a u0 here, set to get u1, n is zero. So u1 is equal to u0 plus two over u0 plus one, which is equal to one plus two over one plus one, which is three over two. So I have u0 so far is one, u1 is three over two. For u2, we're gonna have, and is equal to one this time, so we're going to get u1 plus 2 over u1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 over 2 plus 2 over 3 over 2 plus 1. Just type this into a calculator, but we're going to get 3 halves plus 4 halves. We're going to get 7 over 2 divided by 3 halves plus 2 halves, 5 over 2, which will be 7 over 5. And then for u3, where you ask for u3 as a fraction, u3, n is equal to two. So u3 is equal to u2 plus two over u2 plus one, seven over five. I'll write two as 10 over five over seven over five, plus I'll write one as five over five. So it looks like we get 17 over 5 divided by 12 over 5, which is 17 over 12. Question 9. Number 10, we have the sequence u0, u1, u2, u3, 4, 5, defined by the occurrence relation un plus 1 is un plus twice un minus 1. So we're given u0 and we're given u1. So to get u2, and in here will be one. Let's change n to one. So u2 is equal to u1 plus twice u. If one goes in here, it's going to be u0, which is why they've given it to us. So that's going to be u1, which is two plus twice one, which is equal to four. We're asked for the first six terms here, so there must be a relationship. They don't want us to do this six times, but let's get u3 first. We've got a 1, a 2, a 4. It looks like we're doubling or multiplying by 2. Let's just check u3. u3 and is going to be equal to 2. So u3 will be equal to u2 plus twice u1. So u2 is 4, sorry, u2, let's no, use 0, u1, u2, u2 is 4 plus twice 2, which is equal to 8, so you can see it is doubling each time, 1, 2, 4, 8, and then we're going to get obviously 16 and 32 for the first six terms, and this one, like one of the previous questions, is geometric. Okay, we have another sequence down here. We're given e v0 and v1. So to get v2 in here, n is equal to 1. So v2 is equal to, instead n is 1. So it's twice v1 plus v0. So twice v1 is 2. And v0 is 1. So this is 5. Let's write down the first six terms. So we have v0, v1, v2, v1, v3. n is equal to 2. So v3 is equal to twice v2 plus v1. n is equal to 2. So that's twice v2. I'll just write them out again over the v's. So we have a 1, a 2. We've just gotten 5. So twice v2 is going to be 10 plus 
two, which is 12 here. V4, you can see here it's going to be twice V3 plus V2. And twice V3 is 24 plus V2, which is 5, so that's going to give 29. And then V5 for the six terms, V5 is going to be twice V4 plus V3 based on the pattern. And twice V4 is 229, so 58 plus V3, which is 12, so that's going to give 70. Doesn't look like there's any relationship between these. There's no common ratio and there's no common difference. So this looks to me to be neither.